All right, everybody, this is Dash Radio. This is your good friend, My Wand. I'm here with, with Compton MC. Compton, I, I want to say one of Compton's finest right now because you got the city on fire, bro. Wale, yeah. the motherfucking sensei. I should Wale, the sensei. Hey, I appreciate so that, bro. Look it up. What up, man? <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome nice to in, meet you, man. Champ. Very nice to have you in, man. Uh, I was telling you earlier, which I told the dude, I'm a start the show with this someone walked in here earlier saw you on the screen and dead ass said oh you got wale coming in they're like he got la on fire he said with that oh three flow yeah man that's what i let her hear man and, and you're coming off because scandalous is your joint that kind of popped right yeah that was my first record to go up and you did it again with oh three flow it ain't over, man. O3 flow still climbing. Scanless know, still ain't, Scanless started. never stopped. We no. still we still shooting with both of those. Yeah, and you got Doug on the remix. Oh yeah, we got photo Doug on the Scanless remix. Yeah. The so. uh, the O3 flow remix is something to look forward to. Also. Oh really? I don't want to ask who's on it. Can I ask what coast he's from? He or she's from? Well. One person is from, from this side of the world. I'm gonna just say that because I already posted some oh, on Instagram. Shit. So there's more than one it's, person on it's this. It's already a snippet on Instagram. I ain't gonna spoil it though. Okay. For the people who haven't seen it, I'm gonna just let it be a surprise. Okay. But okay. that remix, something to look forward to for sure. Okay, and there's a lot to look forward to with you because if I was to listen to your, your music without having read your bio, I wouldn't have known you're from Compton. I mean, like you sound different than what I imagine. Like, yeah. I think when I like when I heard G Perico, I immediately was like, "Oh, West Coast, right, from right, the right. city." You have a really unique sound. What, what what inspired your sound? How did you craft this sound you got? Because you don't sound like others. Um, it's here. it's mainly like it's like where I come from. My friends, like all of us as a group, it's kind of like we get bits and pieces of certain shit from each other when it comes to music, like. Uh, one of my friends that passed away, long live Nebula Swavy. Rest in peace. That's that's somebody Nebula that I can say. Yeah, Nebula Swavy. Rest that's, in peace, Nebula. That's who was on Silly Rabbit. He was a uh, he was an artist on Silly Rabbit, Bitch Please, and Cuisine. That's on a new. Um, Bitch Please Part um, One. Or one and on, two. Oh, he's on both. Okay, yeah. Okay. So like that's that's like a prime example of somebody that like that I could say kind of help <clears throat> help me with my sound. My bro Todd. We all get a lot of shit from each other, but it's mainly. Like, you know, like, pure. You know, it's like pain, struggle. Just the shit that you go through, I feel like it prepare you music-wise if you're not scared. I'm gonna tell you what, what I felt like when I heard your album, what moment in music kind of inspired you. I don't know, but I do this for all my interviews, a little bit corny. I give the artist an album. I got a CD collection dog that I was like, this is what I'm gonna give back to the world. Yeah. So I wanted to give you, bro, Lil Wayne Carter Three. Damn, I had that's to do hard. this, bro, because <laughs> this is yours to keep, bro. That's hard. Look, there's some, there's levels to it. Yeah, you know, this the really red on the three. You know, I know you're affiliated. Like, there's that layer, but <laughs> on top of that, this to me was the album that made it that that like pivoted where rappers started to sing a lot. Where almost like you can sing and be yeah. a rapper and you can rap and be a yeah, singer. Yeah, Lil Wayne most definitely uh, that, like, switched the dynamic in music, but this this specific. Uh, album though, this is what I really, this like probably what started me to even Wale, start to like music. I did my research. I have the Carter one, two, three, and four upstairs, not five. Sorry, Wayne, I, I never caught five, but I had to give that to you because <laughs> I felt like, I felt I felt like you're part of like us, like we're part of the generation of of you know music enthusiasts and artists that this was our Illmatic, like. When yeah. this shit came out, bro, I remember the world stopped and it was like Carter Three's out. You weren't listening yeah. to shit. Yeah, it wasn't nothing else happening. You, nothing. Right? I was playing this for years. I don't think I listened years, to nothing else for a couple bro. years after this came out. And low key, like that album, still we don't appreciate it as like a classic yet. Maybe people don't, but that's a classic, yeah. man. Nah, this is a you classic for show. Shout there. out to Wayne. Shout out to Wayne. So I felt like I heard a lot of Wayne inspiration when I heard your music, and then when I did some research, you had spoke about you know Wayne was like somebody you would listen to. Yeah, Wayne, Kendrick, like them two people that I feel like is heavy influences on me. Okay. Uh, Wayne for like rap purpose, like music, mu in a music, from a music perspective, I feel like it ain't nobody that, that worked as hard as this dude. True, And True. he like, from every angle with it. Yeah. And then Kendrick, I feel like he just like annihilated the whole situation. I, 
you, you know what's crazy is I used Talented. to want to be a rapper, but I was interning with DJ Bro, Speed. you gotta spit some. Bro, but you don't want to hear me spit. I'm not that tight. You gotta spit some, y'all. Off the top? No, <laughs> the top. Why, why do you got me spitting, bro? You're the one with the album Look, out. I'm changing the rules. I, I'm known to break the rules, bro, but I'm just playing. Nah, Look, when okay. I, if I come back, I'll, I'll, I'll for, for you sure before this shit's done. No worries. Oh, I was going to tell you, the reason Kendrick impacted me was I was interning with DJ Ski. i never forget. He's like, yo, I need something dropped off. Kevin Durant's at the studio, James Harden, and J-Rock. I'm like, say less. This is 2009. Yeah. Pull up. I'm thinking of bars in my head. What if J-Rock asked me to rap? What if Kevin Durant asked me to yeah. rap? J-Rock had a young homie in the studio. Obviously, you know what I'm talking about. Little dude. I say little because I'm little. He was mm -hmm. my size. I met fucking Kendrick 09 before he dropped anything, and I retired. I dead ass didn't want to rap anymore because, dude, I knew he was in Compton, and I knew he hadn't made it, and I heard what he was capable of, and I was like, yo, if he's not going to make it, the fuck am I going to make it? <laughs> Damn. Fast forward, I wish I would have known he was a god MC. So you know, my I Facts. revere him. Like I, you just, I it, it's all it's a time thing. You just gotta have faith in certain people. I should have had faith in myself, but because now I look back, I'm like, bro. I mean, he's bodying all MCs. It wasn't just me. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I feel like he like got the ideal uh, talent range. Like yeah, I, yeah. I want to be like, like, like him in a rap. From a rap perspective. Well, you have a really, actually, one thing you do extremely well that Kendrick's mastered too is your melodies. Oh, you're melodies. Very Appreciate it. Melodic. Like, I'm a manifest this right now. Wale, like, you're going to be writing songs for others. Because what's going to happen to me from what I see is like the Rihanna's of the game, the Chris Brown's of the game, they're going to want somebody with your experiences to write their music. And you can do it, bro. Like, you, you might right. not have the same voice as Rihanna. But your melodies, dog. Oh yeah, and I'm dope with the writing too. So that's what I'm saying. Your it's a matter of time. You said MC with a hammer, you can't touch this. I swear to God, I was walking down that way to grab lunch, <laughs> and I paused my shit, and I said, "Wait a minute, MC with a hammer, you can't touch this." Yeah, your pen game is crazy. You caught that? You don't of be course, playing. bro. I'm a big MC Hammer fan. I'm, I'm dead ass. I think MC Hammer gets no love. So when I heard that, I was like, "Oh shit." So would you consider yourself a rapper or a singer? You fall to me. That's a good right question. I'm gonna always go for the. I'm gonna always try to end up more on the singing side, just because it's less typical. No, and you are to me a singer at your core. Like the only different, yeah. only reason I think people might put you in that rap box is because you've been through so much and you're from Compton, and people might want to be like, "Whoa, if you're from Compton, let's say you're a rapper." To me, you're like Blast. Like I look at you and Blast. You guys are singers. Oh, yeah. You know, Blast, dope. I got I got plenty bags to get in though, so I don't really like to um box yourself in box either. myself in because shit you never know. Next project might be something different. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I'm in the mood to rap, sometimes I'm in the mood to sing. But I'm a, I'm gonna just stick with the singing part because it's less typical, like I said. Yeah, absolutely. And I like, feel like we got a million rappers. And we, the West needs this. Like, the West has always moved well. When we, like, rest in peace when we had Nate Dog. We dominated yeah. that shit for 10 plus years because every hook he did. And so, you, yeah. Blast, Bino, I salute you guys for being so hood and tapped in with LA still. But, you know, you don't have to, you know what I mean? Like, do gangster rap per right, se. Right, right. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, I don't know if. If that's your every move, you know what I'm saying. If you wake up and that's just how you, how you, um, how you feeling or what you want to express, then I don't see nothing wrong with it. But I just like to come from more so a real life angle that everybody can understand. Well, and that's what I want to get into, man. Your real life. So most rappers rap about things they've seen or things that their friends told them. <laughs> Bro, this is shit you've gone through. When I was yeah. reading through everything Wale the Sensei has gone through, you were homeless. Right for, sure. for a minute, you you know grew up in Compton. I know you've been affiliated. You've been through a lot, man. So yeah, God um, bless you and your strength and perseverance, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I feel like that that would go that go the same for a lot of people. Like just with my skin color, even like I feel like uh, as a as a as a group of people, we go through a lot more than the average person would expect. But mm, being absolutely. from where I'm from, yeah, it's, it's turmoil, but it give you everything you need to, to sprout, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
if, if like if you made it out of that, this rap game is gonna be nothing, you know. Jay Z has a line where he said, "I sold kilos of coke. I'm guessing I can sell." CDs. Yeah. So to me, it's like all the shit you've been through. This industry has no chance against you. Yeah. Nah. I feel the same way. I feel like uh, people that that don't plan on being on the same ship as me might as well just jump off right now. Yeah. They're gonna have to figure it out. So what was the turning point for you, Wale, where where you started, where things started to fall into place? Was there something you did, somebody who helped you, someone who came in? Music your life? wise. Yeah. Well, shit. Um. I don't know. I was pretty shocked in my situation. It was I was just really making music for myself. Uh, in the beginning, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I never had plans on being, you know, nobody to the world. I just planned on making shit that'll remind me how to move in the future. Interesting. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, the fact that everybody else liked it, it was just more so like just a blessing. So like maybe scandalous taking off is what kind of like. Like Scandalous, so. Tarzan, bitch, please. Like, that's that's what I really work on when I deliver a body of work. It's not really like my songs are in competition with each other. I'll be trying to, you know, just give different a different a variety of shit. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? This group of people might really fuck with Scandalous. This group of people might say Tarzan. Like when I do shows, people will yell out requests, different songs. You know that type of shit. Yeah. Little bit but, of everything. Yeah, Scandalous for sure is what gave us that push, that lift. Mm. That's like a universal. Yeah, it would mean that that me. record's so hot, you brought it back on this project, right? Yeah. You put Doug on the remix. Yeah. And then you and then you went you went bananas again with that 03 flow as far as like hearing about that everywhere. Dude earlier was like he got O three flow, got LA on fire. Yeah, hey man. Um shout out to O three Greedo. Frida Wolf, um, that's who was on the snippet that I put on Instagram. I'ma just tell you. Oh, oh yeah. So Wolf? yeah, O3 is gonna be on the O3 flow remix. Oh shit. That's, but was it because O3 and O3 just made sense? Nah, it makes sense because the type of music that I was making when I made that song, uh, is is what relate to O3 Greedo. Mm, okay. Like he created something which is called like garage music, like. Something that's not necessarily with the crispiest sound, oh, but, but, okay, it's, okay. but it's honest, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I recorded that song in the house, tired, just uh, with less, um, what's it called? With less, uh, you know, help that I had now. Mm -hmm. I had less help. Yeah, yeah. So it was just a little uh, more bitter of a situation, but as you can see, I pushed out a dope record and mm -hmm. shit. The streets love it. The streets love that shit. Yeah, they fucking with it. So now that you've made it to this point, do you notice like your phone starting to blow up a little bit? Has that happened yet? Oh yeah, my phone ring a lot. Starting to cut numbers off, huh? I had to get a new phone. It's like, too late, y'all. We fucked up. With everybody who had Wale's number last month, fucked up because I'm telling up. you, he's not gonna be answering none of us no more. Nah, I got you. Uh, you got <laughs> just call Jay West. Man. You got <laughs> two phones already or not? Nah? <laughs> Yeah, I, I got. I had to. I had to switch my phone though, for real. My phone yeah, was blowing started, up. Yeah, it started, man. Like I it's, can't. It's still ring. Like people call me even on Instagram. Like people that I don't know, fans. And then I'm the person that's gonna pick up some of the shit because I still be wanting to like connect with people like how I did in the beginning. Absolutely, but I it's feel hard like, now, right? Yeah, it is hard. But I feel like as long as you stick with your original, uh, you know what I'm saying, with your original formula, mm -hmm. then. It worked, and I like connecting with people that fuck with me because, like I said, like I feel like um, I never planned on being nobody to the world. So it's it's like a mutual it's a mutual thing when people into me. It's like yeah, shit. you got like love, <laughs> like you're almost you respect them because they're respecting you. And exactly, they didn't have to play them. this shit or listen to it or even go through. It's what dope, they bro. Want. They had to. They didn't have a choice, man. They heard that shit once. <laughs> they have, yeah. You think I'm gonna like leave here and not? MC MC with a hammer, you can't touch this. Like I'm gonna yeah. quote that for years to come, bro. <laughs> Your shit's dope, man. That's tight. Um, so, what do you feel like? You, f I felt like, or I feel sorry, like the West Coast right now is bubbling again. Like the way yeah. we were with TDE back when they first came out, we had Nip out at the same time. Rest in peace. Um, Nip was yeah. out for years, but you know they all kind of splash, and we had Dom Kennedy. You had Scheme. Yeah. And then 
at, you know, shifted back to Atlanta, where it's always at, always should be. Shout out Atlanta. But you, Blast, Bino, you guys are on fire. You guys got the city on fire. So do you feel like LA is up next? Um, I feel like we never left the scene, man. That might sound that might sound cocky coming from me. I mean, but me. we were quiet for a minute. I feel like because I'm from LA too. So because you can't really that. choose. You can't really choose what the wave is for the world. True. But yeah, real is true. real. Good music is good music. Like and you know what I'm saying. It, in man. my opinion, so I just feel like the focus was in the wrong places because we ain't never ran out of talent. Nah. True. I can run out of fingers <laughs> naming just my homies. <laughs> Yeah, man. But so, yeah, shout out to, you know, the D, they on top right now. Detroit, Flint, mm -hmm. Michigan. They've been killing the rap scene. Atlanta, they've mm -hmm. been killing it for a while now. I'm but. just happy to see your generation of artists. Like, not like of age, but like there's your, I mean, there's some, and the list is so long. But I'd like to start with you, Blast, Bino, always doing really well. I mean, say I did, I talked with Jason Cash a few weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, Simba's from Oakland, but I feel like he's like an L.A. cat to me. He kind of like raps like he's from us, but mm -hmm. L.A.'s on the rise, man, and I, I think you're responsible for that, you and all of you guys from, you know? That's dope to hear for so, sure. I want to ask you a couple things about Compton. Do you feel like Compton is getting a little better, right, or it's like a little bit nicer, safer, I, mean, I should say? I feel, like, I feel like it's, um, it's like the weather. Hmm. Hot, hot and cold. It changed. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, literally just that. Like, it could be one way Well, because I take for, for a year or even some months, and then it could be another way. But I guess for me, because, like, the I used to take, I still here and there take the blue line. It ain't never sweet, though. That's age. the thing. Nah, it ain't never It ain't sweet, never cold. But it looks nice. It, it's, like, it's like if the weather only went from my hot to yeah. warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's never cold. So Compton's it's never a warm. place you, it's not a place no, you want to play. You drive, when you drive by now or drive through, or like I was going to say, I used to take the blue line from downtown Long Beach to downtown LA. Mm -hmm. The blue line crosses Compton. That stop looks beautiful. They got big yeah. letters spelling Compton. There's yeah. a big shopping center right there. And I'm like, that's the thing, bro. When I, family, when I, know? when I finally went to other States and I seen like how, how they, uh, poverty, uh, like the places that are mm. in poverty look, it made me think like, damn, like this look like the hood, but it could be a nice area. I feel like our uh, our architecture skills are, are up going to par. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The architecture skills are up to par for sure. We got some nice, beautiful homes in uh, a few different places of Brompton, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's the place that the ideal place for people to want to move coming from nowhere no, else. No, so. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's still like. So it, it looked it look, it look better than when I was a kid, though, for sure. Mm -hmm. The streets. So you shit. grew up in Compton, right? Yeah. Do you remember? Because like, I think Kendrick always talked about something like, I think it was a California Love video or like there was like, no, not that video, but there was a Pac video that he remembers seeing Tupac kind of drive through the street. And do you have any moments in your childhood where you remember seeing anything Hip hop wise in Compton. Well, for me, Kendrick is a little more close to my age, but seeing the game, the game was somebody that I probably seen as a kid, like you know, rapping and doing like what I feel like I'm trying to do now. Yeah, yeah. Or like how Kendrick did it. I was seeing like like that era, like the game. That was a rapper that I seen. Oh, and yeah, I was I like, damn, it. okay, I can do it. Bro, I love I never the game made so efforts. much. I threw away my G units. I used to have the G units, the sh shoes. Swear to God, when Dead ass. When the game dropped 300 bars and running, all my bars G went crazy. All my G unit shit was in the trash. <laughs> That's actually like how I got this job. The founder of this company is DJ Ski. Damn, you heard him? <laughs> he said that's how he got this job. I met Ski. I was backstage at a concert and I was 16. I see DJ Ski. No one, like people knew him, but no one recognized him. I was like, yo, you Ski? And he's like, how do you know me? And I'm like, 300 yeah. bars and running. And I I was ready to do all 300 bars, bro. That's how much yeah. of a game fan I was. That's dope. So I feel that, because from our era, the game was, like, he really was back on the scene for the West Coast before anybody. Yeah, he was going stupid when I was a kid. 300 bars specifically was like one of them ones. Oh, I'll never forget where he's like, Banks is a bitch, Buck is a bitch, Olivia is a bitch. Nah, man, Olivia's a man. Hi, <laughs> goddamn. I remember that shit, man. Yeah, he I, was. I wouldn't be here right now if that moment the didn't word, hit pop. The wordplay yeah, was ridiculous. Yeah. 
So who have you got a chance to to kick it with any of the West Coast legends and get any gems? You know, maybe from Quick. Yeah, Sugar I feel Cream, like anybody. that's another thing too out here. Celebrities and you know that, that's like regular to us. We got people that come out the city or just come from California, but where I'm from, we don't look at them no different. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of people that have been around or that still come around. But have you had any moments with any of these dudes? Like Quick, maybe, or like Oh, no, nah, I ain't never met know, DJ Quick, dudes. MCA, none of that. Uh, nah. DJ Quick's one of my favorites, but I'm going to give yeah. him his flowers right now. DJ Quick, you do not get enough love. I fuck with DJ Quick, heavy. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, he for sure uh, going down in history mm -hmm. as one of them dudes. Mm -hmm. So but, let's um, talk about the project. The pro Your project came out. That's like a week ago, right? Um, it dropped on the 25th. How's it been doing? 24th. What's, what's been the initial response you've gotten? Um, you know. City on fire. You know, man, I'm here. Yeah. So they loving it. Um, I'm hoping that all the different types of tracks get where they need to go. It's like, going to You know take what I'm saying? Time. Can't yeah, have, yeah. can't sell weed in a crack house. So hopefully everything I that, fuck with that. That's the get to where it needs to go. You can't sell weed at a crack house. Nah, you can't sell weed at Kids a crack at house. Kids at home, do not sell weed at a crack house. <laughs> no, but okay, that's a good point though. So you're saying you want, you want, bro, we, we are role models. I don't care what yeah. anybody says, man. That shit Eminem taught me as a kid made me a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, nah, Eminem used to go brazy too. Bro, I should. Oh, I'm just sweaty. Kidding. I can't believe they're canceling. Actually, we shouldn't even get into it, but the whole the baby thing. I'm like, bro, you know the type of shit Eminem used to say on his albums. I used to listen to. Man, Eminem said he had put a baby in a shoebox, elbow to knee, a fetus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hip hop's always been like, like Biggie. Biggie had this one bar where he's like, "My homie Sig, take your kids, fuck them under a bridge," and I'm like, "What? You got a homie kidnapping children and fucking them like?" Hip hop's been you. There's no censorship. But that's a whole nother. Let's not even get into this, bro. We're gonna yeah. have communities coming after us. We're gonna just say that all those things were expressions. Yeah. That these people. It's like said. art. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Rap is an artistic thing. Nothing that an artist says should never be taken personal in my perspective, though. I agree. Like, you know it's what I'm art, saying? You know what I mean? Like, you're painting, a, you're literally on your music, you're painting a picture of what you've seen and things. Yeah, but the through. thing is, like, you know how when you play basketball and you get frustrated, and like say a person in the NBA get frustrated and they like say a curse word or whatever, like you can see it for what it is, but artists don't have a actual way to express being frustrated. So mm. sometimes that shit might come out any type of way and yeah. we're not really supposed to give a fuck. So I don't understand. I never, I don't know what, what, what day it was that we woke up and like artists in general had to care about what they said. Like, yeah, that's weird. It's confusing to me, man. But who are you uh, hoping to work with, you know, these next few years? Because this is your time now. Like, you're about, your stock price just went the let fuck up. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We got Kendrick. Kendrick. T-Pain. T-Pain, I fuck I wanna with that. I want to fuck with T-Pain. You and T-Pain will be so fired because you like, sing too like him. You kind of yeah, have like Yeah, I feel like, like we'll fuck the, fuck the world fuck up. Fuck with that, T-Pain. Uh, Kendrick, T-Pain. I ain't going to lie, this one might fuck you up. I'll do a song with Missy Elliott, though. What though, bro? No Missy cap. is so underappreciated. Yeah, no cap. Missy Elliott. Missy is so. I've been trying to get at you. Misdemeanor. Let's get at it, cause Missy but, is really um, underappreciated. Who else? Who else we got? Mm -mm -mm. We can throw Drake in there. We got Kendrick, Missy, T Pain, Drake, Drake Popcon. He from uh, Jamaica. Yeah. I've been bringing him up a lot because that's somebody that I really fuck with, like. Um, he speak a different language, low key. You know, in Jamaica they talk mm -hmm. a little different, like well, broken English. I it's like but I can uh, relate to his music through just substance, like how people mm -hmm. tell me they can feel the shit that I'm saying, or yeah. how you know what I'm saying the mood I was in. I feel like Popcorn is somebody that I look yeah. forward to work with. Okay, I do a song with the weekend too. Cool, bro, the, I, I do a song with the weekend right now, right? Hell yeah, we're producer wise. Out. Who do you want to tap in with? Ooh, all of them. Mustard, Marshmallow, Esco. Everybody. All of them. Producers is important to me. Like, yeah, yeah, those, yeah. those be the people that I want to be my, uh, like, the motherfuckers I want around me. Yeah, I, those are always my hero as a kid. Like, the song don't cool. start without the beat. Yeah, true, true. Speaking of your music, do you write your lyrics down, or are you doing it mostly off the top on the mic? Yeah, I mostly do off the top. Everybody I try to write. Doing that now. I try to write. 
but the thing is, when I get in the studio, I always end up still coming new, like with some fresh mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the the whole natural flow is is just better to me. But it is, man. Yeah. When I write, it's it get it get kind of wicked. It's vicious though. It's so kind of crazy. That's I try to still practice MC, writing. That's where the MC with the hammer yeah. comes out, right? Yeah. I'm not even sure if I wrote that though. I barely write. In the that's past year and a half, bro. I barely wrote. That is talent right there. On my album, I barely wrote. So if you weren't probably singing, two songs. Damn. Everything else just off the top. Probably two songs I wrote wow. off the album. Wow. So if you weren't making music right now, what what do you think Wale would be doing? The Playing NBA. Ball, the NBA. I'd be in the NBA, bro. It's obvious. I'm really the coldest nigga on the court. So this oh, the wait, most. Are you actually nice on the court? Bro, look. I came prepared to hoop. You're not gonna <laughs> hoop in no, in no Jordans, man. You're not they gonna hoop in those. already been hooped in. Damn. Jordan hooped in Jordans. But look, bro, this is the serious <laughs> part of the interview. Any of you uh, NBA All-Stars want to play me one-on-one? -on -one, Come on, bro. You really caught out. Who play? ain't scared to say that somebody, you know what I'm saying, under six feet beat y'all in a one-on-one -on -one or a 21? Tap in. Is he nice at ball? I got a three. I, I got a few players on my line yeah. already that I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, put in the blender. Uh, bro, next time you come through. Yo, next Call time out. Wale comes through to Dash <laughs> Radio, we're going to go to the court. I want to see how you shoot. I just want to see, like, you know. Because yeah. you've been talking. I'm not good. I know I'm trash. I shoot like <laughs> Rondo. Literally, I make Rondo look, look like Look, Ray me Allen. and you versus any other two, I still take you. And you I, just told me you trash. <laughs> all right. I'm about to get. This is going to be like white man can't jump, but I'm not yeah. nice. You know, in that movie, hey. Woody Harrelson was nice. I got you. All right. Just be right. where I want you at. The time <laughs> right. you're supposed to be there. It out. Feel me? If you gotta foul somebody, do it. That's all you gotta worry uh, about. Don't worry. I play like Bill Lambier, dog. I'm like Ron Artest <laughs> before his n yeah. name change. I've got numerous fights on the court because I'm not a athletic. So, so you keep scoring on me, I'm just gonna have to, you know. Yeah. But right. let's get back to the music now. What's coming up next for you off this project? Next single? Next video? Um, we got visuals coming. Okay. Visuals, more music. Uh, I'm not stopping. Hell yeah. That's, that's, Don't that's stop, one man. of my own. Um, the city needs you, bro. Like, we need you, especially you, Blast, and Bino, and Roddy, Roddy Rich, too. Like, we need y'all to dominate these hooks and yeah. give us Nate Dog back. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I could like, do hooks in my sleep, bro. I know, man. I ain't Melody's stopping, though. Hooks. No breaks. That's one of my, like, one of my things that I like to say. Hell no yeah. breaks. Either well, breaks. I got a couple random questions. I'm gonna shake up and shoot some out. Let's see what we get. I wanted to ask you some. I always like to ask some random shit. Leave it to luck, you know? Uh, what superstar over 70 or say older would you have sex with today? Over over, over 70 mm -hmm. or, or under 70? Someone older. Someone older? old. Like who still got it? Lisa Ray! <laughs> <laughs> hey. She ain't 70, but I'm saying, though. She still got I it. I can't say no other name before Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray, you still got I it. I can't say no woman name that's in the older range before Lisa Ray. <laughs> Man, look. I would have went with Lisa Lisa like, Ray. That's tough. <laughs> that's tough with that number, though, 70, you know? I don't know nobody that's 70 yeah, that's that true, I'm that's fucking. True. <laughs> <laughs> They ain't finna have me in jail for murder. <laughs> All right, man. Michael Jackson or Prince? Who do you who do you rock with more? Michael Jackson or Prince? MJ. MJ? Michael Jackson. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Uh, you gotta choose. You could go back and either be Dr. Dre or be Snoop Dogg. Who you Dr. Be? Dre. Really? He up. Bees right now. <laughs> oh, Snoop's good though, bro. He got Snoop, billions. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, Snoop is like, he's just not counting it in public. Your boy Snoop's making nah, money. No, shout right out now. to Snoop, but Dr. Dre up billions. You and, know and look, look at the work ethic. He ain't rapping, Dr. Dre ain't, ain't ain't rapping. Yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's a difference. But you know what? I do want to mention one thing about Snoop. I ended up, I went to his compound for his album release, found out he wrote Warren G's first album. And most of the artists on the Chronic, he brought in. So it's almost like the Chronic's like a Snoop album in a sense too. Like it is Dre. Yeah, no, nah, Snoop is like a mogul yeah. with the rap shit. He was like, and he's still out here killing it. Yeah, Shout out he was to one of them niggas. Big Unk Snoop. 
Um, is Steve Harvey funny? <laughs> I just wondering, is he funny? Yeah, Steve Harvey for sure. So I think funny. so too, bro. I watch Family Feud religiously. I've seen everyone on Hulu. Dead ass. I used to think uh, Mr. Potato Head was made after Steve Harvey when I was a kid. <laughs> it does kind of. Shout out to Steve Harvey, man. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey he, he's, he still got beef with Future in that, man. He don't got to worry about us. Uh, what's the most money you lost in one night? Like in cash? Just like, yeah, yeah. Or like. He spent, went to the wrong club or. The girl got you, you know? Nah, ain't strip no club. girl getting Wally. No, at the strip club, man, they, they're they good at their job. If I threw it, it was somebody else's. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. So Wally doesn't go to the strip clubs? No, nah, I go to the strip club, but I don't really throw money that much. But I done lost some money for sure. It had to be like some around, you know, a few thousand. Okay. Maybe if no, 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 no. I lost 20,000 in the casino one time in, in, uh, in Oklahoma. Damn. I, I went to the casino with a hundred dollars. I oh, hit the jackpot. Shit. I hit the jackpot on the machine back to back. I hit up to like twenty twenty one thousand, and I left the casino with a hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, I swear bro, to God. No, this is a message for the kids. God. That's how casinos work, bro. You're gonna win. I you're gonna left lose the casino it. with a hundred dollars. Wow. I hit for twenty thousand dollars. Wow. And lost it all back. That must have been the worst. Another night time. Ever. Yeah, but I still feel like I'm up on gambling, though. Because I've been winning gambling all my life. Like, I never really lost that much. Uh, I thought you meant, like, in general, like, metaphorically, you actually... Yeah, no, nah, shooting dice is elementary. <laughs> that's that's elementary. Um, okay, so if if you were in a zombie apocalypse, last one, would you be rather be with Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, or Mike Tyson? <laughs> you gotta go Mike through. Tyson. We're that's finna what, beat the fuck out of these zombies. Yo, that's what everyone says. And I keep telling people. Wait, I don't think a zombie can fuck with Mike Tyson. Wait till, I swear to God. Wait till Tyson gets bit or dies, and you gotta wait till the zombies Mike come. Tyson zombie. When they come, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna I'm gonna be, be with on. Mike, and All we are gonna right. see what the zombies do. My answer to this day is Mike Jackson, because I just let him sing and perform. But you're gonna die anyway eventually. That's a smart ass well answer. Some shit. He gonna make everything thriller. That's, that's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. They're good all answer. Gonna be like, but I ain't gonna lie. Me and Mike Tyson. You no glove. We going no glove on all zombies. Oh, I thought you meant no gloves against Mike Tyson. I was going to be like, yo, Mike, I do not condone this message. Oh, no, I ain't yeah, about to all, fight Mike Tyson. I don't got Wale, time to play man. with that, man. So you had a big year, bro. Uh, big two years. I think this year coming up is going to be really where you set your foundation down. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm excited Fact. for you, man. Hold Fact. the city down, bro. Don't put Wale in a box, people. He's not a singer. He's not a rapper. He's a dope ass artist. Dope ass artist, and I'm coming. I'm on my way. You're With here, some... bro. You're not on your way. You're here. Yeah, but this the beginning, though. Oh, I know. It hasn't even started for you yet. Hell yeah. Wale the sensei, man. Hey, shout out to my boy. He gave me my Lil Carter Wayne. three. Carter three. And that's oh, special. Phillies, bro. I love this. If you think about Carter one, two, three, and four. That's tough for me to give away Carter three to somebody. Yeah. This is a hard four of copy, them, dog. Yeah, it's a hard copy. That's mine from fuck, oh, 2010, 11. Yeah, it's a know. rap. It's a rap, man. Dash Radio, Wale, the Sensei. If y'all haven't heard, go check out the album. O3 Flow, doing numbers. Scandalous, doing numbers. Project's called God Golden Mode. Golden Child, the Golden Go Child. I gotta say God Mode, bro. So I gotta read my notes more. Golden Child's <laughs> out now. Golden Child out now. Go Where get can that. We find you on socials. On socials, uh, you can find me at Wally the Sensei, W A L L I E T H E S E N S E I. From Sensei to all you senpais out there, Compton's in the house, Dash Radio, and we out, man. All right, bro. All right, man. Appreciate you. Of course. Appreciate y'all. Shout good. out to Dash Radio. We good. Yeah. You mind if I yeah, 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 yeah. Let me come around. Honestly, do my. Michael Jackson.